evaluation of the pass rush through four games. Uh, what are your thoughts about what kind of pressure? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, the uh, the numbers were before this last game were, were, were okay. You know, this last week we didn't get to the quarterback uh, as well as we as we'd like. Uh, I think a couple of things. They, you know, they got they had a good scheme. Uh, they had got rid of the ball quickly. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, we, we were not pleased that we did not affect the quarterback and, and what we need to do. And, you know, Stone Handy did affect the quarterback on multiple occasions, uh, even though it doesn't show up in a stat sheet. You know, it's uh, so, you know, we're, we're something we're working at. We're not displeased, but, you know, we're not, we're not satisfied by any means where we're at. What have you seen maybe, I, I guess, a growth standpoint from Jaron uh, from, you know, when he came here to now? You know what, Stone has uh, he's really become a guy that that'll show up for practice every day and work. Uh, he's a talented kid, and you can see that you know from the start. But he is becoming much more locked in. Uh, he's he's uh, being a, a good teammate, and when he does the things that uh, you know this program asks and prepares the way that he needs to, it's going to keep showing up on Saturday. So he, he keeps doing what he's doing. Instead of having a hurry or close to a, a quarterback hit, those are going to turn into sacks and hits, and, and that's where he's where, where he needs to head. And I think he will head that way. The uh, the tempo obviously they play with is, is a lot on the, on defensive linemen, especially there's certain occasions where the guys weren't even set yet, and the next the next ball is being snapped. What what do you learn? What do you take from that? Is, is, is it a sort of game that you just say, you know what, we're not going to see this again for a while? Or what, what did you want to see from them dealing with that? What did you like and not like about how they Yeah, did? you know what, we uh, tempo, it's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah, that's why people do it. We, we fully expect to see it this week versus uh, versus Penn State, and that's something we're, gonna, we're working on every single day. Right? Whether it's abbreviating your calls, whether it's better effort after the ball and hurrying and getting lined up, whether it's the coaching staff making the, the signal or the call quicker, you know, it's, it's a whole team team deal from, from the coaches to the players, uh, executing, communicating. And so, yeah, we definitely expect it's going to happen uh, this weekend with Penn State, with the tempo, they do it. And uh, it's something we're working on and something we identified that, that we know we need to work on. It. So we, how, we've started. How much of a change have they made with the new coordinator? Is it a totally different offense? I mean, what, what, what are they, you know? Yeah, you know, I, I think you could them? obviously see the, the different things that he's doing. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of uh, formation on the sideline, you know, very good coach. But it's still the Penn State where they're, they're physical up front and they mm -hmm. get good players, good tight ends, good receivers. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, the, the players and the scheme, they've always played hard, but the scheme's mm -hmm. a little bit different. But mm -hmm. uh, it's still still Penn State and, mm -hmm. and what they know and what they do well. I, uh, I asked you a few questions about Weston a few weeks ago. I'm still working on that piece, and I got some stories from other de the other defensive tackles. Um, they talked a lot about just just his intensity all the time in like meetings, weight room. He's like slaps himself around before he gets a big lift. I mean, what are some things you see from him? Even away from the football field, like, and there are times where you're like, Weston, you got to calm down, man. Well, to be, to be completely honest, he's about half, just like half of my friends, that yeah. some of my best friends. So I got <laughs> okay. a boxer that's in New Orleans, one of my best friends. I got a rodeo cowboy from Helena, Montana, that's the same way. So, mm. you know, uh, he is intense and slapping himself and doing all that stuff and mm -hmm. fight you at the, at the drop of a hat. But in saying that, it's not a bad crazy. He right. is a great person, mm -hmm. right? And that's why guys like him. That's why guys respect him because mm -hmm. the intensity is always pointed and focused mm -hmm. in the right direction. That, that's what, when you say you've got friends like that. When did you kind of see? What was kind of the first sign you saw from him? That was like, oh, these are like he's like those guys. <laughs> well, I think I, to be honest with you, the first time I ever had a Zoom call with him, mm -hmm. and I think he sort of saw a little bit of. My younger days in himself too, or me, mm -hmm. whatever you know. What yeah. I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, he he reminds me a lot of some of my best friends in this in this world. I mean, mm -hmm. the guys that are like the U.S. Marines, they're your best friends, but your worst enemy. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's what that's what Wesson is. He's, mm -hmm. he's one of your best friends, but he can mm -hmm. be your worst enemy. So that uh, that's what he brings this football team. I know. Uh, I think his high school coach has said before that, like you know. The quarterback's coach got to be worried about him because you got to make sure that he doesn't hit somebody. You know, oh, yeah, no, you guys yeah. had to be, you know, get through to him, especially this year of all years. Do not you know, you know mess what? around. Obviously, that's something we, we preach to the whole team. Mm -hmm. uh, but Weston, maybe he might have been. I could see probably maybe when he was younger that mm -hmm. he didn't have that control. But he's mm -hmm. tough. He's got, but he's got tremendous self control. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and that's what I'm talking about. With, mm -hmm. with he's a good teammate. He's not going to jeopardize mm -hmm. uh, him wanting to do something and, mm -hmm. and hurt the football team. And that's what uh, that's what we love about him. And mm -hmm. even out of practice, he mm -hmm. he works extremely hard. He gets very fired up. He gets fired up at me. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's always for the right reasons. Thanks.